Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm really unhappy to have to make this video. I didn't want to make it. I, I Obviously, anytime I buy something, I want it to work out, especially when I'm buying from a brand that I have bought repeatedly from before. So I bought a couple things from Lily Silk. I bought two night dresses, one of which I've purchased before in a darker color. I'm gonna have pictures of all these things. So I bought it in light blue because I love it so much. I feel very sexy in it. I just wear it casually around the house. It's on the longer side. So really elegant, beautiful. I bought one of those in a lighter blue. I also bought a new night dress style. It's like a button up like just below my knee is just something very comfortable and easy to throw on, especially while I'm like waiting for my hair to dry. The reason I actually placed the order is because I needed to buy a king size pillowcase. I love silk pillowcases. I'm totally addicted to them. Like once you start using them, it is impossible to use anything else. Like cotton feels really scratchy after this. So I went specifically to their website because I knew they were having an annual sale. There were other discount codes that you could layer, not as good as they were before, but I knew that going in, I, I picked out what I wanted and I agreed to pay the price. Oh gosh, here's the thing. I made the mistake of thinking that the quality I had bought before would still be the same quality I was buying now. And that is so, so not the case. So I got the pillowcase, the king size. I'm very glad I only bought one. I nearly bought a couple of them. And then I also bought a twin size sheet. I'll say right now that I'm really happy with the twin size sheet. It's like a deep plum color. I wanted it for when I travel. This is a tangent, <laughs> but I wanted a silk sheet for a while. When I went to India back when I was like 18, one of my professors there was traveling with a silk sheet and she talked about how much she loved to have this with her. It's really great for when you're on the plane and cause it's silk, it kind of collapses up a lot more. Like you could never lug a big blanket with you, but silk is really breathable, but it also, I don't know, it keeps you all cozy. So I had this vision of taking this twin size. I obviously got the twin size so that it would be more travel friendly and it only has to cover me. But I was thinking, oh, I could like wrap this around as a scarf. That's why I got one of my favorite colors, purple. So let me just say right now, I'm very happy with the twin size sheet. I am so not happy with the other things. Lily Silk also does a lot of gift with purchases. So as soon as you spend a certain amount of money or if you buy a pillowcase. So they included a free sleeping mask, which I have one from previous orders. We'll get back to that. <laughs> oh gosh, I, I never make angry videos, but because I have shared so much about them in the past, I felt compelled to. I felt like I had to. And now I'm wondering if I have to go back and edit those previous videos to be like, um, hey, I bought this at a very different time and things are not to this standard now. So proceed with caution, you know, take that for what it's worth. I, I really don't like having to do that. So I was telling you about the free gift with purchases. So I got the sleeping mask and I also got a, a regular like standard size pillowcases. I think this is a good thing that they're doing where they take a bunch of scraps and they put it together to make a pillowcase. They often give these away for free, like if you buy any kind of pillowcase or any kind of bedding. So I am happy with that free pillowcase gift. It's decent quality. You can tell they were using their thicker, nicer fabric scraps to put this together and it still has the zip. So getting into what I'm not happy about with the pillowcase, I wish you could touch these. So I have them here in front of me. In previous reviews, I have, I feel given a pretty balanced overview of the Lily Silk pillowcases. I've said it's a really good value for what you're getting. I think the quality is good. I have washed these numerous times. Here I'm talking about the old ones, the ones that I bought two, three years ago. I haven't placed an order with Lily Silk in a while because I've been happy with what I had. I just didn't need anything else. So these had a zip, they're quite soft. I have also said that they're not quite as nice as slip ones, but slip ones are far more expensive. The thing to keep in mind is Lily Silk has recently raised their prices. I would say over the last year and a half, they've been creeping their prices up and they've been allowing fewer discount codes. When I was buying my Lily Silk items, starting yeah like three years ago now you could often get buy one get one 40 percent off 
Now it's usually like buy one, get one 20% off. And that's their prerogative. They can do whatever they want with their discounts, but you also can't stack discounts now. So now you can only use one discount code at a time. It used to be that you could layer them up. So you'd have buy one, get one 40% off. And then you could use um, like a site codes that they would have like, oh, extra of 30% off here. And then influencer codes on top of that. Now you can only use one promo code at a time. So keeping in mind that their products are now more expensive, I was so disappointed when I saw this quality. A little behind the scenes, I've actually filmed this video already, but when I was doing that, it was just an unboxing. It was just like, ooh, look at these things that I got. I'm really excited to check them out. And I've had to completely scrap that video because when I was going back and editing it, I had already been using the things for about a week and I was so unhappy with how they held up. Um, here's the king size pillowcase that I ordered. I'm gonna do my best to illustrate the issues here and show you cutaways, but I used this on my pillow for about two days and then I took it off. I couldn't stand it. It was super itchy against my face. It feels rough. It feels very thin. I knew that they were no longer using their, zipper, uh, their zippers. Lily Silk used to always have zippers on their pillowcases. They would give you a few different options. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I think it's called like an Oxford pillowcase or something. There are different uh, words to describe different pillowcase styles where like you have the border around the pillowcase just for whatever style you're looking for. I always got the simple ones with just a plain zip. You could choose between that or an envelope style. Now they only offer the envelope style pillowcases, no zips, except for on the free gift with purchases, the, the one that's all like molded together from different pieces of fabric, those still use the zip. This I'm really disappointed in how thin and flimsy it is. And this is just completely my guess. I don't know this, but I hypothesize that the reason they lo no longer use the zip is when they brought down the quality of their pillowcase, it wasn't gonna be able to hold up to a zip. So if you have a zip attached to really thin, flimsy fabric, it'll rip apart. When you go to zip it or unzip it, that force is going to tear it away from the fabric. That has never been an issue with any of the previous Lily Silk pillowcases, but I hypothesize <laughs> I don't know, and I could totally be wrong here, but I would guess that that would happen if they attached a zipper to these thin, cheaper pillowcases. I, I, yeah, mm, so grumpy, <laughs> so, so grumpy. I'm sorry, I'm not pulling any punches here. These suck, and I'm not happy about it at all because I think their pillowcases, their king size one, it was like 70 something bucks, and yes, I got a small discount on it. So yes, that is still less expensive than Slip, but considering it's $70 spent on something I do not want to use, I should have just lit that money on fire. Or no, I should have gone bought seven Chipotles with it. Okay, like total waste of money. Not happy about that at all. I really, I don't like wasting my money. It, it's bad for me. It's bad for my wallet. It's bad for the environment. It's just bad all around. I don't want to do it. I'm gonna show you cutaways of the two night dresses, comparing them. Like I said, they are the exact same style, but just in different colors. The original one I bought is in navy and it is noticeably thicker, softer. It holds up really well when washed. This new one wrinkles quite easily. Easily, It's thinner. I'm not happy with it whatsoever. And because it's a lighter color, actually, the wrinkles show more prominently on the fabric. It just doesn't have that same luxurious feel to it. The thing I, I love about silk is the just the texture feels so amazing against your skin. It feels like almost liquid. And a cool thing is that humans don't actually have the sensory receptors to feel wetness. <laughs> like just a, a cool thing, go Google it, look up more information about it. But we actually can't feel wetness. We can tell that something's wet because of the change in temperature and texture against our skin. And I love silk for that reason, because I think it plays a little mind trick on our brains, just making us feel like it's almost like liquid. And when you feel a really thick, cooling, luxurious silk, it feels like liquid against your skin. Just, it feels amazing. And I'm so disappointed in this. So that's one of the reasons I loved wearing their, their night dresses around the house because I work from home. I just loved that little bit of luxury. Normally I'm in 
Costco sweatpants and I wanted something to feel good in occasionally. So these, they do not, do not look good. Last thing to show you, this was a free gift with purchase. So I want you to realize I'm not actually complaining about the decline in quality, but I think it's a really good example to show you how the quality has declined. Does that make sense? Like, I don't think I'm entitled to a fancy free gift, but they gave me one before that was so, so nice. And then they gave the same one, not so nice. And this, just imagine, think of these as like the pillowcases because it is exactly the same situation. So I think just because of the more like the details and the color, it'll be easier to see. I received this several years ago, free gift with purchase. Like I said, I didn't buy it. I don't think I'm entitled to a really fancy thing, but if you're gonna send something out, don't send out garbage. That's, that's my opinion. This came with my recent order. I'm gonna try and put in cutaways so you can see. So it uses the uh, similar band. It's like a velvet, but this is thicker. This is thicker and padded. The silk covering the padding is thick. This is very thin, really, really flimsy. If I had never seen this prior silk sleep mask and just this, I'd be like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. It's a free, cheap thing, whatever. I'm not gonna use it all that much. Not a big deal. Mm, but <laughs> it clearly shows how quality has declined, even though their products are more expensive. I'm really sorry to have to make this video. I don't like sitting out in front of the camera and just grumbling about a million different things. I'd like to think that I don't typically pick out like really negative content, but because I have made videos endorsing Lily Silk before, I felt like I had to now put this out there and I'm really not sure what to do about those other videos. I'm definitely going to be editing them in some way or maybe I'm gonna be pinning a comment on the top, getting it out there that things are not what they were and to catch this updated video. I'm really unhappy to have to do that. I wish that Lily Silk had kept their standards high, even if as they raised the prices, even if they just kept quality consistent, that would have been great because I was so happy with those products before and I didn't hesitate to order from them again. Even when I was making the unboxing video, I was saying like, oh, I hope this speaks volumes about what I think about the company because I spent my own money again all these years later on buying them. So clearly I felt really good about those products and I'm thinking back about it, I'm like, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> like, yeah, I did feel really good about those products. Not so much anymore. I will definitely not be ordering anything else from Lily Silk. I am happy with the twin, the flat sheet that I got that I'm gonna be using for travel. But now that I have that, I won't need another one. And frankly, there are other places that you can get silk shirts. I do think perhaps their basics, things like that might still be worth exploring, especially if you can get a good discount code. I guess in the name of fairness, I do need to point out, clearly I didn't order the entire range. I don't know how their camis are, their, t their shirts are. I've liked those things in the past, but frankly, it's not worth it to me to spend my money now just to find out how they are. There are some creators on here that I trust, some of my friends, Perhaps if they get a discount code from Lily Silk, it might be worth asking them about. I do want to mention a couple brands that I would recommend. Equipment offers beautiful silk shirts. Vince also fantastic silk products. You can usually get them on sale. I'm going to be ordering another king size pillowcase from Slip, which I should have done in the first place. I think that they're $110. And if I hadn't wasted my money on the Lily Silk one, that would have been like 70 something bucks towards that product. I'm not gonna waste the King Silk pillowcase, just so you know, I'm probably gonna turn it into like scrunchies or something. Uh, so waste not, want not. Anyway, on that note, uh, I'm really sorry to have to make this update, but I felt like I had to. I hope it was at least helpful. I don't mean to spread negativity, just information. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. Uh, I wonder, I wish you could feel it. Like, this sucks. This, this is quite nice. They feel so different.
Like, I don't want this to be about accusing other people. That's not the point of this video. The only person I'm accusing is, well, person, persons, I don't know. Uh, the only one at fault here, the only one I'm taking issue with is Lily Silica. Like, what the, it, the threads are coming loose. Are you